It is uh, JV2F. 540, it's ready. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. And that's what I love about Amazon. I'm not even due here for 15 minutes, not supposed to leave for an hour from now. Trailer's ready. Let's go get this trailer. So after taking two weeks off, tonight it's not all about the money. Tonight is about maintaining the grade. I mean, who am I kidding? It is always about the money, but gotta maintain that grade. If you work for Amazon, you probably get it. If you're considering working for Amazon, stick around. It'll make sense, I promise. Let's get after it. So grade is everything with Amazon. Um, you know, getting that high grade, getting access to those early access loads are where it's at. If you told me today, if you said, Hey, you can keep working for Amazon, but you're never, you're never gonna have early access again. Would you continue to work for Amazon? That would be a hard no. I mean, that, that'd just be an easy decision right there. I, there's no way I would work for Amazon without early access. Uh, I have lost it in the past. If you've been with me for a little while, you know I did. Uh, I had to reject a load, cause my grade to drop down to a C. And uh, you know, that, that was a painful six week lesson there for me to learn. And I think that's one of those things, you know, I, I'm always curious when I hear people say like, I hate Amazon, I hate Amazon. I think it's one of those things that, that I, I think that's what drives people crazy about it is they don't, you know, Amazon has a lot of rules. They expect perfection. I, I watch another, I, I watch a lot of content of guys saying like, oh, I was, you know, 30 minutes late picking up this load for a certain broker. And it's like, man, if you do that with Amazon, your grade's gonna go in the tank so far. You're not gonna get another early access load for a good six weeks later. So Amazon does expect perfection, but in my opinion, they pay for that perfection. There's no other broker that I found a year into having my authority that pays as well as Amazon. I mean, I, you know, when I look at other brokers saying, hey, you know, you know, what, what do I have to do to make a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars? And they're like, oh, go to St. George, Utah, or go to some place in Texas. And Amazon lets me do that all, you know, being, you know, staying here in town, running around, you know, these short little routes around San Diego, like to what I'm doing tonight. I'm going up to Carmel Mountain and then back to Otay. I'm heading out of Otay now. But, you know, the grade is everything with Amazon. The other thing to remember there is your, your grade is made up of the rolling last six weeks. So, and you know, I don't want to steal another creator's content in saying this. I'm going to put a link to the, to his video in this video and be in the description, but something that I was turned on to recently, I was watching Big Vic TV. Now he's a 26 foot box truck guy. If you haven't heard of him, um, I know I'm in no position, such a small channel to be giving shout outs, but I would absolutely give a shout out to this guy. I mean, this guy, this guy understands the Amazon market. If you're interested in 26 foot equipment, and he's, he's my source of income, my source of income, my source of information, uh, as far as, you know, when I want to know something and he's pretty inspirational. I mean, his channel's well put together, uh, very well edited. I mean, it just, uh, very professional, but, uh, he, he did a thing where, and again, I don't want to steal his content, but basically he took some time off. I don't know how, how long it was, but he came back after his time off and his hundred percent grade had been replaced with a zero grade. Now in that rolling six weeks, he still was at a hundred. It said, you know, a hundred next to it. And then beside it, it said like null score zero percent. And you know, I, I don't know exactly what that means as far as, you know, did he lose, did he have to kind of like reprove himself? In my opinion, I think if you've got a hundred percent, that hundred percent should hold you for the next six weeks. But in his situation, his hundred percent was taken from him because they, they felt that he was not running an adequate amount of loads. I know with other brokers, I know like JB Hunt says, you know, if you're in their little inner circle, they say you have to continue, you have to haul at least one load a month. And nowhere in the Amazon paperwork, and I dug through everything I have, does it say we expect a minimum of X loads per month or per week or anything like that. So it's kind of this, I don't want to say nefarious, but this kind of not really clear picture of they can take your hundred percent away. Uh, even if within that six weeks you're, you're at 100%, they can say, hey, you're not running enough from us. We're going to temporarily, you know, suspend you from the early access for this set amount of time. And now to get that back, you would have to do two loads completed before Saturday at midnight, you know, in one week. Um, week starts on Sunday, weekends at Saturday at midnight. And you'd have to do two, execute them perfectly. And then the following week, you would be back at 100%. But the reason I'm out here doing this kind of great maintenance here tonight is Prime Day is coming up. And last year, Prime Day, I made quite a 
a bit of money around the eight weeks surrounding that was one single prime day. There was a lot of stuff being moved, a lot of well-paying local loads. So after taking these last two weeks off, you know, first week went to Hawaii, second week I have been, they still hear it in my voice, I have been sicker than I have ever been in my life. I uh, wasn't COVID, but it was an upper respiratory infection, did a COVID test, it was negative, but just kicked my butt. Was uh, basically just not doing anything this last week. And if I'm being honest, the, the load board this last week has been really, really light. I mean, normally in a day, these little, you know, San Diego to Poway, San Diego to Vista, San Diego to Carmel, Val Carmel Mountain, there's usually about, I would say, 30 to 35 of these a day. This last week, there has been maybe one every other day. I mean, I just haven't seen anything. I don't know if people are getting them faster than me, if it's just a light time of the year. I know, you know, when I look at other brokers, most, uh, you know, most rates are down, but there's just been nothing moving. So, I mean, I guess I timed my sickness and my vacation at a good time, but I did want to come back and start working sooner, but it's just, there's just been nothing on the board. So, out tonight doing two easy loads. We'll see what else drops, but basically, you know, not all about the money tonight. I am making like $500 to go back and forth once to Carmel Mountain and then once to Poway. So, I mean, not great money, but I'm basically just doing this so that I have active loads that have been ran. I'm going to execute them perfectly so that my grade stays at 100% so I don't find myself, you know, receiving this mysterious 0%. But going to get up to Carmel Mountain now. I'll check in with you later. All right, made it to DSD1. It's 7.45. 7.45 is the time I'm supposed to be leaving Otai to come up here. So people always want to know like, hey, how many loads can I do in a night with Amazon? You can do as many as you can squeeze in as long as it's within your hours of service. But they told me to back this thing into dock door one. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm taking trailer two. So the trailer was all good. I'm trying out my red light. Uh, this is, may look funky in this. I don't know how it'll turn out. We'll see. But just so you can see me. Uh, trailer was all good. Leaving DSD1 now. Heading back down to Otai. Uh, tonight may just be these two loads. I mean, even if it is just these two, I'm away from home for four hours. Came up to Carmel Mountain. Going back to Otai. Going to Poway. Back to Otai. And I can call it a night. Four hours away from home. 500 bucks. Not a great money-making night. If something else drops, obviously I'll take it. Uh, you know, assuming the money's right, that type of thing, but you know, you might think I'm pathetic sitting here worried about my Amazon grade. I get a lot of comments, you know, saying like, oh, you're, you know, you're really up on that Amazon thing. Here's the thing. I never want to misrepresent myself at this. I was fortunate enough to when I first started, when I got my authority, Amazon would take me at day one. I know they recently have changed that to 180 days and I feel for all the people who were right on the cusp but just starting for them. But the thing is, is like, you know, until somebody shows me a better way, and trust me, I, I hope I'm wrong in this. I hope that like, you know, in a couple, you know, maybe in a year from now, maybe I'm sitting there saying, oh, you know, I was wrong about Amazon. You can really make a lot of money with X, Y, Z or something like that. But as far as, you know, where I want to spend my time and energy with, it has been with Amazon because nothing pays like them. So you, you may think I'm pathetic out here doing, you know, two little loads, worrying about my grade. My wife laughs at me. She's like, it's the first time she's seen me go through school. She's like, this is the first time in my life I've ever seen you be concerned about a grade. And she's right. Like I never, I mean, even when I was in school, it's like, ah, if the grades are low enough, the office will call me in and they'll talk to me. That never happened. But uh, you know, now the grade translates directly to the money. And so obviously, yes, I'm interested, but basically all this tonight, these two simple little loads is just to be sure that I'm at 100% going into Prime Day because last year, those two months around Prime Day, I made quite a bit of money. I mean, it was, uh, you know, and if we could, if we could have even if it's not as great, just a mild duplicate of that this year, it would be uh, it would be fantastic. But 
doing everything I can to go into Prime Day with a 100% grade, looking for that early access. Something to consider if you're thinking about Amazon. I mean, you know, you might find yourself doing something like this in your future too, but I would strongly encourage it. As always, I hope this video serves you well. Appreciate you for watching. Take care.